Welcome to the Air Gun Show. First up, I'm delighted to announce that this is our 200th episode. Many thanks to all of you for your support, and as a sign of our appreciation, we've teamed up with MTC Optics to offer you the chance to win a Mamba Pro Scope. Full details are on their website, and there's a link in the description for this show. Now on with the usual stuff, this week I'm taking a look at the Air Force One Trigger Sticks tripod from the shooting party, but first up, I'm heading out on what turns out to be a brilliant session on the squirrels. Right, I'm back on the squirrels today, and I'm in some woods where they've caused a lot of uh, tree damage and just had a real impact on the resident wildlife. Um, I'm targeting them from a hide, using a feeding station that comprises two separate feeders, both in the same spot. Um, the reason being for that is that it just doubles the capacity that they can hold and I don't have to come back and forth so frequently to keep them topped up. And judging by the rate that the peanuts are going down now, the squirrels are really onto them. Um, the gun I'm going to be using is the FX Impact, which being so compact is just a great little gun to use in the hide. That is paired with the Hawk Sidewinder scope that's held on with sports match scope mounts, so that makes for a really accurate combo. Um, that's enough chat, let's get on with it. Well, as expected, 
squirrels are really onto the feeder. We've got off to a good start. Um, I usually always try to wait for the squirrel to pick up a, a peanut and start feeding so that it's nice and still for me to take the shot. But a couple of these seem to have clocked us. So rather than waiting and waiting and waiting, I've just gone ahead and taken the shot just in case they were about to spook. Um, with so many squirrels coming, I'm not going to talk too much, so I'm going to settle back down. Hopefully we'll get some more. Well, we actually had two squirrels at the feeder at the same time then, and the one that I shot actually decided to wedge itself between the two hoppers to feed. Now, there are quite a few birds of prey in these woods, so that seems like quite a clever ruse to avoid their strikes. Um, obviously, unfortunately for that squirrel, it didn't work against air gun pellets. One from the rotten branch just above the feeder there. Um, that was another one that just looked a little bit like it may not have been going to settle, so I just didn't want to give it a chance to bolt off.
There's another one, mate. Well, that last pair came very quickly, but we're starting to lose like to film by now, so I think I will make that do. Um, I was expecting it to be a pretty good session, just judging by the rate that the peanuts were going down, and it's turned out to be a very good session. I think we've got 11 squirrels on the deck. Um, people often ask me what we do with the squirrels that we shoot during these culls, and the fact is, they virtually all end up in the pot. Now, I think squirrel meat is great to eat, and in my opinion, it's actually better than rabbit, so do give it a try if you ever shoot a few. More tree wrecking squirrels brought to book there and no doubt plenty more to be had from that feeder. Next up, I'm taking a look at the Air Force One Trigger Sticks tripod from the shooting party. Shooting sticks can really improve accuracy by bringing added support to your shots. Now, regular viewers will know that I frequently use them for extra stability in the field. I don't regard it as cheating at all. It's simply taking advantage of a useful accessory that helps to keep shots on target. Now, today I'm looking at a new set of shooting sticks. It's the Air Force One Trigger Sticks Gen 3 tripod from the shooting party. These sticks retail for £149.99 and appear to be really well made. I would expect them to last for years. Now the first thing that I really like about them is their tripod design with three legs which tends to give a lot more stability than two-legged bipod type sticks. Now that's great but they have an even better feature in that their legs are extendable and that gives you a variable shooting height between the lowest setting at 80 centimetres, which is great for sitting shots, right up to 165 centimetres at their highest setting, which is plenty high enough even for tall shooters like me to take standing shots. The single-handed height adjustment is courtesy of a telescopic mechanism in the legs. Now, pull the trigger and the legs slide up and down very quietly and when you release the trigger it locks at whichever height you've chosen. There's even a locking switch here that enables you to lock the trigger to prevent accidental height adjustment. It is impossible to overemphasize just how useful the Air Force One trigger sticks height adjustment mechanism is. Not only does it mean you can use them on the highest or lowest setting, you can also use them set on everything in between. So that means if you're hunting on the move, you can use them for standing or kneeling shots, or one of my favorites, you can sit down for an ambush and use them for super steady sitting shots. Sculpted for a comfortable hold, the handle combines a camouflage finish with soft touch rubber grips that feel great in the hand. It also has a wrist lanyard. Now the yoke, that supports the gun is quick detach so you could attach a camera or a spotting scope to this tripod instead but I reckon that most shooters are going to want to leave the supplied gun rest in situ. I have used the Air Force One Trigger Sticks tripod with a wide variety of air guns and its wide V-shaped yoke has worked well with all designs from buddy bottle to cylinder models. Now it's soft grippy rubber lining literally moulds to the shape of the gun holding it securely in place. Now best of all it rotates silently so you can pan the gun from left to right picking up on targets at a variety of angles. 
Measuring under 105 centimetres when packed down and tipping the scales at less than 1.4 kilos, these sticks are easy to carry around in the field. Now, they even feature a retainer at the bottom of the legs to hold them securely in place and stop them from rattling when you're on the move. So, that's the Air Force One Trigger Sticks Gen 3 tripod from the shooting party. Now, apart from vastly improving accuracy from a variety of shooting positions in the field, it's also an incredibly handy piece of kit for setting up your airgun and testing accuracy, and also for shooters who struggle to support the weight of their airgun for whatever reason. It is an incredibly versatile and easy to use piece of kit, and the improvement that it brings to the precision of your shot placement has to be seen to be believed. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for in this week's episode, but as ever, we'll be back again in a fortnight. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to take a look at that MTC competition in which you could win a Mamba Pro Scope. And if you aren't already a member of the BASC, it's time you joined the organisation that works to promote and protect your sport. Don't miss the award-winning Airgun Shooter magazine. It's packed with hunting features, reviews, tactics and insight to help you become an even more successful shooter. Get your copy today in shops or online.